guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Claire and you are watching another episode of my Spiritual Sunday series. The one where I talk all about the deeper issues in life from subjects related to mental health, human psychology, spirituality and so much more. If you're enjoying these videos so far, please do remember to give them a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the latest updates from me. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please do pop them in the comments below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram. We've just had a massive rainstorm here in the UK, but the sun has come out again, so perfect timing to film this video. What does it mean to be an empath? To have empathy is to have the ability to understand things from another individual's perspective as if we were standing in their shoes. And so it follows that an empath is someone who is highly sensitive to the thoughts and feelings of others around them. From a spiritual perspective, empaths may have the ability to sense the energy of others around them, perhaps see auras or have psychic abilities. We often associate empaths with introversion and so they require a lot of time alone to recharge their energy as being around other people can be quite mentally and physically draining. I would definitely describe myself as an introverted empath and I have been for as long as I can remember. I prefer being on my own and as much as I like to socialise and spend time with other people now and again, I do find it quite tiring. Probably because I do feel everything so intensely. I have however managed to overcome my social anxiety and grow my confidence levels so that I am able to get myself out into the world, build new connections and form relationships, something that is very important in both my business and personal life. I prefer to be in small groups or even better talk one to one with somebody. I tend to avoid crowds and busy places because I do find that too much noise and chatter can be very overwhelming. I feel at best when I'm just in my own space or out in nature. So what are some of the signs that we can look out for to know if we are indeed an empath? If you're watching this video, it's highly likely that you are, but here are some of the other qualities you can begin to notice in yourself as well as other people. Being labelled as overly sensitive or highly emotional. Perhaps you are the one to cry when watching a sad film or listening to a particular piece of music. Or maybe you experience very sudden or strong emotions triggered by people or situations that are happening around you. This is a clear sign that you are perhaps an empath. You literally feel other people's pain. so. If a friend is upset, you absorb that energy and almost experience it for yourself. You get quite anxious in crowds or large groups of people and feel quite drained, so often have to retreat to recharge your energy levels again. In fact, you need a lot of alone time and generally prefer to be in solitude. You are affected by being in the presence of certain atmospheres or people and are very in tune with your surroundings so you can sense whether there is negativity, danger or chaos. You thrive in tranquil and peaceful places such as beautiful open spaces, nature or even just in your own bedroom. You feel so much more at home. You have a deep sense of love for animals, nature and even newborn babies, perhaps because you are drawn to their aliveness. Other people often confide in you, share their problems and value your advice. You're a good listener and are able to see things from another individual's perspective. You offer practical and non-judgmental words of wisdom. Friends, family and even strangers feel that they can just be their self around you. You are a natural born healer and can be very grounding for others, bringing them back down to earth, to their roots. In fact, 
just by being in your presence can be extremely calming and you may notice other people's mood and actions change because of this. You have an inner need to help other people and find it very difficult to see someone else in pain without wanting to do something about it. I've come to learn that as much as I want to help other people, I cannot do so until they are ready and willing to accept that help. And some people may never be ready. This can be very hard to accept at first, but the more we help ourselves, the more this positive energy will flow outwards and affect everyone that comes into our presence. Intimate relationships are very scary for you because spending a lot of time with someone or perhaps living together can be emotionally draining. Getting close mentally and physically is intimidating because you feel everything so intensely and can literally see into the other person's soul. That being said, relationships, particularly those of the intimate kind, can provide us with a massive opportunity for healing and transformation. So if we can open up our heart to this, it can be a truly magical experience. So can you resonate with any of these qualities of an empath? Or do you know somebody else that does? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next week. Bye.